In Grid 3.1, you can now batch rename nodes, a feature that is quite convenient, and this is why we are covering it in this video, to raise awareness about it. So to batch rename nodes, you'll want to head to the scene tree. You select any number of nodes in the same branch and right click, select batch rename. Note that in 3.1, the first release, there's a little bug where the option does not appear if you select a branch and their parent or multiple nodes in different branches. But if you press Control F2, the shortcut, batch rename will appear. Now I use this feature to simplify the names in my node tree. Collision Polygon 2D can be quite long and I have quite a few in this prototype. So I'm going to look for them. I'm going to use the search bar at the top of the scene tree to filter them and select them all. I'll select the first list first and then select the others. You can then control F2 to search and replace different strings in the node names, append a prefix or a suffix, and you get a preview of one of the node's names before and after the transformation. So if I'm going to search, for example, for collision and replace it with nothing, it's going to remove the word collision. Can then prefix the node name with call or replace that search with collision here, you get the idea. What's most interesting is the advanced options. Instead of searching for patterns that are too specific, you can activate the substitute option. And then when you place your cursor in search, replace, prefix or suffix, you'll be able to click one of the pattern buttons. So you can, for example, replace the node's name and it's going to take the full name, like Collision Polygon 2D5. You can see the preview shows that there is no name left and replace it with whatever you want, like call. And if the nodes have the same name in a given branch, Godot will automatically number them. Now it will not number them necessarily in order. So one thing you can add is a counter in your replace string field, or you can add it in the suffix field and you can add some number padding. So you could have multiple zeros, for example, or none. You can step in different increments and start at a different number, you could start at zero, at one. So I use that to simplify the name of my nodes. For example, the name here for collisions, I don't want anything inside of it because the parent node is called level collisions at the moment. So I'm going to rename the nodes like that clear my search in the scene tree. And now the scene tree is a lot clearer with the individual collision shapes, collision polygon 2Ds, having just the icon and a number. Another thing that you can do is use the batch rename tool with regular expressions. The regular expressions are going to be similar to the rejects that you'll use in GDScript. So for example, one thing you can do is you can look for dot for any character, alphanumeric character, and use the star for repeating it any number of time. You can use capture groups. If, for example, I want to remove the word collisions, I'm going to open a group. I want a word starting with call or a capital C, then dot, and the star following it. So I want to replace everything that will be after the letter C. And I could replace that with nothing in this case. If I click rename, level collisions will change to level. Regex is a powerful feature. It's a language in its own that you use with any programming language although there are different flavors of it, but I will let you learn about that with a separate resource. The last tab, Post Process, allows you to change the writing style. So you can go from camel case or Pascal case to the snake case and vice versa. And you can lowercase or uppercase the name of the nodes if you so desire. Although the convention in Godot most of the time is to use camel case. If you are getting a project where someone used snake case for the node names and you want to make their scenes work with your nodes, you can quickly select all of the nodes and go from underscore to camel case here. 
But that's about it for batch renaming in Godot 3.1. See you in the next one.